Thank you, everybody. It is such a blessing to be with you today. Um, to Andy, to Sanjay, to Chad, to Fred, to everybody who is on the board, who's helped with the capital campaign, who is leading Food Bank of Delaware, who's helped make this incredible blessing possible. Thank you. I want to draw your attention to some things that have been happening around us during this event. And they allowed me to reflect a little bit on how Retha's faith, like a mustard seed, though it began small, grew to such an amazing thing. After 40 years, the Food Bank of Delaware has gone from what started as an initiative in a closet in a church in Wilmington at Westminster Presbyterian to something that here in Newark and down in Milford, Andy, if I heard you right, 18 million pounds of food distributed to keep Delawareans from being hungry in the last year. Let's give that a round of applause again as a remarkable, a remarkable accomplishment. It's wonderful we've got our state auditor and our insurance commissioner, state representative, state senator, county executive, first lady with us, and my friend and colleague, my senior senator, and we will soon in a moment hear from our congresswoman. But you know, 40 years ago, if we'd been in this space, the last thing you would have seen, first lady, it was a bald eagle. As we know, 40 years ago, the bald eagle was endangered. The bald eagle was on its way out of existence. And a few powerful small changes were made in federal law that over those 40 years has led it back to a bald eagle circled and landed in this lake while we were speaking. And it's lovely, inspiring, but unremarkable. All of us have had the chance now to see a bald eagle. And 40 years ago, when Retha said, I think we should have a food bank here in Delaware, some folks said, no, no, we don't really need that. But your faith and your persistence, the investment and the engagement of the folks who work for the food bank, who serve on the board, who've helped with capital campaigns, have built it and built it and built it until today. We can't imagine our state without it. We had the opportunity, Tom and Lisa and I, to contribute to passing the $1.9 trillion American Rescue Plan that just got signed into law by our president, Joe Biden. And as he did so, he said, help is on the way. Hope is back. And there's a lot in that plan. There's $1,400 checks going to most Delawareans. There's also an expanded earned income tax credit and child tax credit that will cut food poverty, that will cut child poverty in half in our country. And as we know, hunger and poverty are closely connected. There's also additional resources to fight hunger in our country. And one other thing I wanted to point out is four wonderful people back here. Now they're holding up the balloons. So you might not have realized what other service they're providing, but they're from AmeriCorps, from the NCCC. AmeriCorps, a decades old national service program that mobilizes civilian volunteers in service to our country, it got doubled in the American Rescue Plan. It got an extra billion dollars so that folks from NCCC who are up here from Vicksburg, Mississippi in their year of service and helped with the mass vaccination event that just happened at Dover Downs, they are also here helping this food bank. There will be 75,000 more AmeriCorps members now helping food banks, helping schools, helping vaccination, helping fight the things that we all know we need to make better. Let me close by saying this. It is such a blessing to be with you, to serve alongside my friend and senior senator, to serve alongside our congresswoman who we're about to hear from, Andy will introduce her. But never stop believing in the power and in the possibility of your ideas to make a world of difference. When Retha began 40 years ago, I bet you couldn't have imagined that today we'd be sitting out in this gorgeous sunshiny day looking at a food bank with incredible capabilities that delivers job skills, that delivers food to our hungry fellow citizens and Delawareans, that provides hope and opportunity, that we'd be in a year where we needed it so badly or that we'd have a foundation so strong for the food bank to continue to be a part of Delaware and our community and our country going forward. Thank you for your vision. Thank you for everything you've done. And congratulations to the Food Bank of Delaware on 40 wonderful years of making Delaware healthier, safer, and stronger.